Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have big news. As you can see behind me, there is a car, there are toolboxes, and we have lighting, we have good audio. So thank you for sticking it out. I know in the past couple videos, the audio has been a little bit off, constantly working on that. Um, but as you can see behind me, we have the 240, which is my drift car race car that is not currently street legal so we are going to be going through the process of making this car street legal so i can get out drive it have fun and it's just not sitting in between when we're going out to drift but here we have the 240 sx drift car it is an s13 it is a 93 as you can see yeah we're going to need a new windshield so the last time i drove this car at the police academy the hood unfortunately did not get latched flew up busted the hood wrinkled i mean busted the windshield wrinkled the hood obviously uh it did not leave any damage uh to the roof of the car which i find absolutely hilarious because i did not have a gopro on this mount okay and the only reason why I think it got saved by the roof is that GoPro mount. If you look right here on the hood, uh, if I can get it in right there. So it wrinkled right at that GoPro mount and that's obviously where it took most of the force there. Um, but in today's video, we are going to get going on the taillights. So I have new smoke taillights to be put in here and the back is a little bit beat up of course from hitting walls and such but um i my plan is to just try to fit the taillights in there see if they line up see if any of this is a problem i know the holes on the inside are going to be a problem and uh we obviously we got issues here with the broken taillights so both of the back of the cars have been either hit by walls people or anything in between that so we're going to get moving on that and uh, we're going to start there some of the main things that we're going to go over to change for it to become street legal are going to be headlights blinkers uh horn because it doesn't already have a horn and tail lights and windshield for now. So we're gonna start there. I'm going to be installing these smoke tail lights, the stock tail light back here. Just for example, it has an amber turn signal and then you have your reverse light and the bottom lights here are running and brake lights. Now in this light, it comes with amber bulbs and to turn the blinker into amber since it's just clear smoked, then you still have your reverse light and then you have your brake and uh, running lights on the bottom as well. So let me show you over here. I have the first one installed and it looks really good. I like the how sleek it is, but it's not completely smoked. I think the clear version of this to me just looks a little bit too uh, Reister Honda-ish Honda <laughs> for me, but I do like the smoked look. I'll probably end up putting LED lights in here to make it brighter. Um, on this damage though, um, you know, shout out to Rudy, <laughs> uh, next entire, but to this damage, um, right here, it looks pretty well on this side. I'm going to have to manipulate these two holes and I'm not sure about the fit up. I did do some body work here. 
um, but it was just quick and dirty to get the car painted for uh, the season. So we'll see how it fits up. I'm going to get a burr and burr these two holes out. I wasn't able, uh, this side was, was bashed in pretty good, so I wasn't able to get it all the way back out where it was, but for the most part it should fit up. And then the bottom garnish piece I'm going to have to manipulate to fit with the new lights. But man, look at those things. All right, so we have both the tail lights installed here. This one fits really nice. I really like it. Um, fitment is good and perfect. And this side is the side that I hit the wall on. And this whole corner was actually flattened like all the way to here. So it's pretty much flat. And um, so it fits okay from like here to here. And I tried to bash this out as good as I could, and I just did some very quick Bondo work trying to fix it there. But inside here, uh, let me get it to where you can see it. Inside here, this is a very crucial bend, just like this side, it's, but it's flatter, and this side is still in. So I'm going to need to rework that later. Um, to get it out, you can see in here, you can see right in there that it's actually not even touching. That stud is not even going in there and touching. So it's pretty close. It just needs to come straight out. So I'm going to try to rework that later, but for now to get the tail lights working and in, I'm just going to leave it like it is. It doesn't look horrible knowing how it did look before but it is not perfect and that's just something that it's going to be for right now unfortunately. So I'm going to try to work on getting this garnish piece in next and see if I can get it you know unbashed from this side and kind of straighten it up. So I was able to get the garnish piece back on the ends. I just manipulated them as much as possible that I could before I fixed this, obviously. But um, it's pretty dented in there, so I just kind of had to... I worked this out to get it as true as possible, and then had to bend it in to get into the hole. And on this side, it is like the same, basically the same. The, the tab was bent down, so I had to bend it up. But all in all, with the deck lid closed, they look pretty cool. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Kind of a view from the back here. Looks pretty good. So this one obviously is pushed down. Um, but of course, it's a drift car that's been beat up. So all in all, it looks way better than it did before. Amanda just came up with the uh, 240's new uh, theme song, Staying Alive, because we are making it street legal. So we got the tail lights in. They are the best they could be for right now. Um, of course, like I've said a million times, I want to fix this over here. Uh, the lights are not in order for whatever reason. This It's supposed to be the outside that come up, not the inside on that. So that's something I got to fix. But all in all... They look great. They're actually way more visible than I thought they would be. So it's going to be awesome. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos coming up. And subscribe if you want to see more of me turning this car into a street car.